Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is December 21st, it's Tuesday, and I'm here in my classroom. My students right now are in Related Arts, and it has been a crazy day already because we are having our Christmas celebration today. So, for those of you who don't know, we go to school up until December 22nd, which is tomorrow, and it's a Wednesday, and it is crazy insane right now. Um, I wanted to do something special for my kids, and the reason we're not or doing like our Christmas celebration tomorrow is because tomorrow we only have a half day, and so I wanted to have the whole day for them to just like celebrate. Um, but we're also doing our math test, so we're doing math review. We're playing trash get ball, which I'll show you guys um, how that works here in a bit. Um, we're also working on our research paper, and so we're still doing work, um, but I told them that right after lunch we'll get to have our celebration, and so they're super excited about that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys kind of like what's happening in my classroom right now. As you can see, it is extremely messy right now because I told them, you know what, like we have to go to PE, just leave your boards here and we will come back and finish our review game. So um, I'll show you guys what Trash Cabal is all about right now because I this is my first time playing it with my class. Um, well, this way. I played it another way, um, but I love the way I'm playing it now and it's very, very beneficial for all of the students. So let me show you. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm dividing the team, the class into two teams. Here's team one, and I have it on the board as team one, team two. Here's team two, and then what I'm doing is I'm asking all of them a review question, and then if a team gets the answer right, then they get to add a point to the scoreboard, um, and they also get a chance to shoot a basket. Um, from there, so it's called trash get ball. So literally they just shoot it with this um, paper wadded paper that I got and Yeah, so it, it's it's pretty awesome. They have to shoot from this carpet line right here if they get a point then they get um, two points total for getting the answer right and for getting a basket and something that I really like about this review game is that I have all the students working out the problem but only one student gives me the answer so I like it because I can see like who has the right answer who has the wrong answer who's struggling who's got it things like that so yeah I love that game you should definitely play it also, I wrote Christmas party here on the board last week. So far, we are at CHR because of their misbehavior. So that's something I decided to do to encourage um, their behavior, like to encourage good behavior um, with this last week or last few days before Christmas because this time of year, if you're a teacher, you know that it's completely insane. Um, also, here is our little Christmas tree and all of the gifts that my students have brought for their um, Secret Santa. So I'm very, very amazed at how well they have kept their Secret Santa a secret. And then down here I have some gifts. I have one student, or actually like they're a, they're a niece and a nephew, and they brought me tamales, you guys. I am so excited. This is the best gift I could have ever received. Can't wait. Um, anyway, so yeah, my students are doing super awesome. I told them um, it has to stay a secret. Your secret Santa has to stay a secret. And they've known for two weeks like who their secret Santa is. So I'm like very proud of them. I told them that if they told someone who their secret Santa was, they were gonna owe me um, $10 um, from our classroom economy. And I think there's only been one student who has told someone that I know of. So. Hopefully no one finds out before the end of the day. <laughs> also, here's all the food that my students brought. So I had them bring some cookies. I got a lot of, lots of cookies. Um, a fruit tray, a vegetable tray. So we're being kind of healthy. Some chips, juice, cupcakes, and we're all set. I'm also doing some crafts with them. So it's a little, a little sled and it is super cute. Here is what it's gonna look like. This is just like a model of it, but we're gonna paint it, we're gonna put some glitter, and then um, this is the their picture here in the middle. Obviously, you can't see the student because it's confidential, but <laughs> this is what it's gonna look like. And then we're also gonna um, do borders, like a border with their picture in the middle. Oh my gosh, this table is dirty. So sorry about that. They had breakfast here this morning. Well, they always have breakfast in my classroom, but usually the back table gets dirty. 
Um, anyway, so we're gonna do a little picture frame and then they're gonna hang it with twine and then they're gonna put their little picture in the middle. So I'm gonna have two crafts for them just because I wanted them like in case like they don't live with both parents, I wanted them to have two for them. Here is my secret Santa gift. I love the bag, it's super cute. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And then these are the gifts, the little gifts I'm giving to all of my colleagues in second grade, all the ones I work with because we're pretty, like we're pretty close. So I got most of these things from, actually I got all these things from Target. Um, the candles came in a pack of like three, the chocolates all came in a pack, all the chapsticks came in a pack, the tea, the, um, the hot chocolate, um, and these were the only things that didn't come in a pack, but still, like, I think they, I really like this idea because I spent, like, not so much money on all of their gifts. And so I really appreciate that. I wasn't sure, like, what to get them, but I thought this was awesome because it's, like, a little spa um, treat for the break. <laughs> and then finally, we come to the little gifts that I'm giving my students. I'll just take one out to show you guys. So... I know a lot of you guys, actually, like all of you guys by now, have already done your Christmas celebration and everything, but I wanted to show you guys for future reference or if you ever want to give um, kids in your class a gift because this saved me a bunch of money. I just went to Dollar Tree. I bought this little, um, this cute little monkey. There, there's a bunch of different, like, um, stuffed animals. Um, but then I got some gushers. I got some of these little candies from the dollar store. And I also got a puppet, uh, no, not a puppet, a poppet from the dollar store. And then these little gift bags I got um, from Home Goods. So there's a bunch of them, and that is what I did. I didn't spend too much money. I thought I did pretty good. But yeah, all I have to do is add the tissue on all of these gifts. So I'm gonna do that right now. So yeah, that is my gift to them. I decided to pick this gift because I thought it was pretty thoughtful, like something thoughtful, something that they can actually keep and have for more than just a few hours or just like eat up. And so I hope they like it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I am just grading away. So here are some papers I have to grade, um, some spelling test, and I should be good. We're almost, we're almost to the end. I'm so excited. This part of the year is always exciting and very, very exhausting as well. So the fact that we're almost there just makes me really excited. I'm wondering like, what did you guys do for Christmas? Did you guys gift your students all a Christmas gift? And if so, what did you do? Um, also like, what did you do with your family? I know Christmas is coming and I'm probably not gonna have this video up before Christmas. So I wanna know like, what did you do for Christmas? Christmas. Merry Christmas. And yeah, I can't wait. I can't believe it's the 21st. Like where has the time gone? So it's not even lunchtime, but I'm hungry. And honestly, I didn't even bring lunch. Like, well, I always have like a lunch just in case, but it's really, it's just um, turkey, ham, cheese, and bread. And so that's what I was going to eat for lunch today. So the fact that I got tamales, I'm like, yes, please. Um, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna try one because I I can't wait. They're literally warm. Like that's how fresh they are. <sighs> Look at that. Wow, these are good size too. I just want a bite. I all I want is a bite. Mmm. Are you kidding? Wow. These are delicious. Okay, my life is made. I can die happy. All right, we finally made it to the end of the day. My students are gone. My room is kind of clean. I'm very OCD, so I definitely still need to organize, but I'm not gonna do that today because I'm tired. I just wanna go home, but the gifts are gone. And my students did really well. We had a blast. Everything seemed a little rushed though, so that was the only thing. And then here are the little gifts I got today. I am so blessed, like how cool. All of my favorite things. Um, tamales, chocolate, chapstick, <laughs> I collect chapsticks, and gift cards, lotion, hello, like, wow, so blessed. Let's go home, shall we? Hello.